This is how to use Google Sheets to make a simple bar graph. We call it also a column chart. You want to start with two words that are going to be the labels of your columns. I have kittens and puppies and then the numbers go below. Notice that the numbers are directly below the words and the words are next to each other. There's no empty boxes in between them. So on the lower right here, this would not work for my graph because there's two empty boxes in between kittens and the, the words and the numbers. Also, this on the upper right would not work because I have words in the same box as my numbers. So the charting function will only work if you have just a pure number in the box, nothing else, no letters, no units, um, no like commas, uh, nothing else, just the numbers. Uh, like if you're putting in times, don't put a colon for like two minutes, 30 seconds. Just put, change everything into decimal format. So to make a column graph, you need to highlight the labels above and the numbers. So you click in the upper left box with your left mouse and you drag your mouse to the right and down so that you've got all four boxes highlighted. Go up to insert, click insert and scroll down to chart. chart. And you're going to chart a bar graph but we call it a column graph. So here we go, column graph. I guess bars go sideways. Columns go up and down. So you click column, but do not press insert just yet. Go up to customization here, customization, and you can then, you should always add a title here. Uh, this I'm going to put preferred pets because mine was about kittens and puppies and I'm going to make it be 30 points, large, bold, make sure it's bold. I think I just unbolded it. There we go. And now you scroll down in this little bar. You can go with more customizations. We want to make sure that our axis is labeled. That's really important. The horizontal axis is the x-axis, side to side. And we're going to label this one um, types of animals and we're going to make it be large font size, maybe 15 point font and bold. And I personally don't like it when it's italicized, so that's a choice you can make. Axes left vertical now, you change that one so that it represents what your vertical axis units are and what it meant. In this case, this was um, frequency of response or number of people who liked the animal. So we put 15 point font again and put it to bold and I'm going to take off italics. That's the main thing you need to do. Now if you don't like having a legend on the upper right with the words, if you'd rather have the words below, then go over to chart types and you can hit switch rows and columns right here and that makes them all be the same color and you end up with kittens labeled at the bottom and puppies labeled at the bottom. If you were going to do error bars don't do that because then you cannot do separate error bars for but for a basic graph this is kind of nice and then I personally wouldn't have a legend then because you have now the same color so you take off that little blue box that had been on the upper right and it's also nice to uh, make sure that your labels there on the bottom and on the side, the numbers are as dark as possible. So for axis labels, I would make that be bold. And now the kittens and puppies are bold. And I would make that be larger so that it can be readable. And uh, that would be also true for the vertical axis. So you go up to left vertical and again go to the axis labels, make those be 15 points and bold and you also notice here that your numbers are starting at you know 24 and 30. If you want to change these numbers so that it starts at 0 which is probably a good idea depends on your situation you would go to where it says axis left vertical here minimum and maximum. This is how you 
change the boundaries. So I'm going to put minimum zero. And when I do that, you'll notice that instantly my zero is showing up there. Uh, and of course you can change the maximum as well. So this is creating a basic graph that I would want in, say, a science fair project. I'm going to press insert now. And now I'm going to have a chart that I can use in, say, a slideshow. I could go on to the upper right of this blue highlighted box with the little boxes around, and I could hit that little triangle, and I could go to copy chart. And if I hit copy chart, it's on the clipboard, and I can now paste it into my other slideshow, let's say. If I want to print this to show up on a science fair board, let's say, or a larger presentation physically in class, then I would click this triangle again and scroll down to move to own sheet. And when I do that, then it now will appear nice and big on its own sheet. And when I print this, it would look really nice because it's a little bit bigger. So here then you can print um, by going up to file print or publish chart. There's different things. Like I would just do file print like right here. All right. So I hope that helps. That's basically what to do with the chart. There's more to do, but this is the basics. Good luck.